Hello, hello. Welcome back, you guys. Appreciate you stopping back by. I hope everyone's having an awesome Tuesday today. Figured I'd uh, jump out here in this rainstorm. Start off nice, nice and leisurely today. Grab a couple fish, maybe some loot. Nice relaxing day today. Day off from work, so everyone deserves a little relaxing time every now and then. Getting a little dark out here already, though. I'm going to have to sleep, but I don't want to ruin the rainstorm, so we're just going to plow through. Why not? No problem. Like today, we're like, uh, like I said in the title, we're just going to go ahead and run back over there, jump into the, uh, into the zombie spawner again, and uh, try to get some stuff done with that thing. I want to make it a little bit more efficient. Uh, my plan is to go ahead and... Uh, Darken it a little bit more. I think the light that we're letting in through the windows that we uh, put up is letting in a little bit too much light and it's kind of dulling it. Not to mention the fact that we're having a little bit of congestion problems down there. So, gonna go ahead and, uh, <laughs> yeah, a little bit of fishing today. But, uh, gonna go ahead and jump down there, get, uh, get some stuff done, make it a little bit more efficient. And I've got some plans to uh, design it slightly differently as well. I want to go ahead and uh, add a portion to the top part where they're... Oh. Okay. Well, that's a great way to start. Nice. All right, we can add that to the bow. That is a uh, bow enchant, so now we can have flaming arrows. Fantastic. Good way to start out. But, uh, but yeah, like I was saying, we can go ahead and jump in. Hi there, friend. Hello there. We can go ahead and jump in there and uh, make it a little bit more efficient and add a portion to it that's going to allow other mobs to spawn. I would like to make like a dark room. <laughs> Sorry about your bad connection. It's all right. Hopefully you'll be on better connection here pretty soon. That is uh, my beautiful wife in chat, if you don't know. So, hi, sweetheart. So, we'll jump in there and make a little bit of a dark room in there. That way we can get some uh, some additional mobs to spawn. I really like to get a little bit of gunpowder uh, because we're soon enough, hopefully, going to have an elytra. And in order to make fireworks, we're going to need a boatload of uh, of gunpowder. So we'll uh, we'll jump in there and grab some of that. And not to mention extra arrows isn't going to hurt. Bone meal, all that good stuff. So let's see, another book would be really cool. I'll tell you what. We also need a lure. When I was cycling through uh, some of the villagers the other day, the first time I was looking for mending, I had a guy that gave me a lure, but 
I ended up passing on it. I, th I figured we could come up with something a little bit more beneficial than that, so. All right. Come on, lucky lily pad. Give us luck. Grant us your wisdom. All right. Come on. Come on. This is why we need lure, guys. Come on, dolphins. Toss us good luck. Another fishing pole with uh, with lure on it would be awesome, too. We could just go ahead and combine them. That'd be awesome. really nice. Since we have our little experience farm going, it really doesn't take too, too much to get back up to level 30 or beyond if we need to. I'd really like to start uh, a really nice... What, what was that? Did we miss something? Oh. I couldn't tell if that was something else or it was just a fish. But uh, I want to start on some kind of really good experience farm once we get a little bit more set towards end game. Uh, I know I've mentioned uh, the Enderman farm before, but uh, I don't know. What other ideas do you think we could have, guys? I think uh, you know, there's Piglin farms and Enderman farms or just a mob farm. So we could, we could go about this a couple different routes. What do you uh, really love to hear what you guys think about different ideas? What you guys think uh, the best route would be? Man, I don't know. I kind of want to go piglin farm. I don't, I've never built one. And as a matter of fact, I've never actually been on top of the uh, the nether roof either. So that could be a, a uh, interesting little side adventure there is getting ourselves up to the top of the nether roof. Come on, fishy, fishy. Well, bookie, bookie. Ooh, another fish rod, guys. Ah, dang it. It's junk. It's junk. No. That's all right. We're going to get some good luck here. I feel it. It's coming. We've already got some really good luck. I'm excited with just one book, to be honest with you. Any books or any fishing rods? Oh, or name tags? And Nautilus shells, for the for that matter, too. I would really love to see a couple of Nautilus shells, so we'll see. See what we get here. Usually the rain lasts like a one cycle of day night, so I don't know, maybe a good ten to twenty minutes, hopefully, out of this. We'll see. Hopefully, we will get a couple a uh, couple people in chat here, spark up some conversation while we're we're doing a little fishing here. Was that a second one? Oh my gosh, guys! Holy cow! Two name tags. I'll take it. That is amazing. Until we get librarians set, um, there's really no other way to get uh, name tags. We have a ton of saddles. I'm really not too concerned about uh, the saddle situation. I think we have like five or six by now. We found a couple inside of the stronghold. And not to mention, I remember we have a couple more back in the stronghold for that matter. So we'll have to we'll have to go gobble those back up at some point. The, uh, the nether portal is right there. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe at some point we'll go back. We'll see. Do, 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 do. Come on, fishy, fishy. Yep. I really like getting all those fish, too. It's uh, it's nice. It doesn't have as much saturation as, like, some of the other proteins, I guess, in the game, like pork and stuff, but uh, it's it's still amazing. Yeah, I'm not going to complain, that's for sure. I wonder where you guys have in your worlds out there as far as spawns. I love my spawn here. I got so lucky with all the uh, the turtles and the ravine. I'm so happy with our little base there. Really love to just keep expanding and expanding. And you know, even though the uh, the zombie farm is kind of hidden away and you're not really gonna see it, it's still a very integral part of this base. So it's uh, it's a necessity that we need to finish this up today and I'm really happy that we get to get in there and and try a couple new things too not to mention I just remembered as well I wanted to add a little bit of a light system to it so my plan is to kind of get on top of it and uh, and throw in a couple redstone lamps that are on a switch and that way we can uh, swap the lights off and on uh, and I'm not the greatest at redstone, but I'm going to go ahead and wing this without any kind of tutorials or anything. And I figure we could probably come up with something that'll work. It's going to be just a basic circuit. Should be nice and simple, but I say that now. We'll see uh, We'll see how I fare here in about a half an hour or so. It might go downhill real quick. Oh my lord, is that another spider jockey over there? It is. 
I'm telling you. If this was a thunderstorm, it'd be incredible. We might actually have a chance for some uh, skelly horses, but uh, unfortunately, no skelly horses this time around. That's okay, though. That's okay. We'll eventually get everything in this world. I'm in no rush. Ooh, we got to take care of that creeper real soon, though. All right, let me just go ahead and uh, let's get this last book. It's going to be a book. I'm, just, I'm even going to say fish. It's going to be a book. Come on now. Oh, oh, it's a bow. <laughs> Close. Power four, I'm breaking three. Okay, we can upgrade our bow to power four. Even though it's already amazing. Boom, get out of here, buddy. All right, so let's jump back over here onto the lucky lily pad. All right, come on now. Come on now. We can do this. Man, I'm excited. A bow too? Our bow got big upgrades this time. Just by a little bit of fishing. Oh. Well. Appreciate the uh, follow there, Shadow King. How's it going, man? Hope you're having a great night. Great Tuesday afternoon. Or morning, or wherever you're from. I assume you're probably <laughs> probably somewhere here in the states. So good good evening. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Just doing a little bit of fishing here. Trying to get a couple more books for our gear before we head down in there and finish up some work on our zombie spawner. Nice, nice. All right. Well, I am too, if you can't tell from my extremely thick southern accent, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Come on now. Anytime now, books. We have got some pretty decent loot so far. Nothing too crazy, but a couple things. Getting a plethora of fish, though. We will definitely not go hungry anytime soon. As a matter of fact, we've got some cats lingering around the base, too. We might be able to scoop up a new cat, too. That'd be really cool. I haven't got to, I haven't got to get any kind of pets, really, yet, besides our birds. And I don't think I even mentioned last time, guys. I had to go back. Oh, man, getting those birds here was a pain in the butt, I'll tell you what. I had to go back and, like stick to the shoreline and they had to spawn every like 30 blocks it was terrible it took forever but we got her done we got her done all right come on this is why we need lure so bad maybe i should have taken that librarian with lure i don't know You gotta get that you gotta get the arm on it. You really gotta arc it out there. That's how you get the good loot. You gotta hurl the hurl the lure as far as you possibly can. Uh, any day now. Man, I wish that one had a lure on it. I'd even take the curse on it. I mean it's hardcore, so it doesn't really matter to be honest with you. And Curse of Binding doesn't matter on anything that could go on your bar. Curse of Binding only matters on gear, so we could always uh, use a fishing pole with Curse of Binding, and it really won't matter at all. And Vanishing won't matter because uh, if the fishing pole goes, we're, go we're going with it. Ugh. Hurl it out there, yeah. Deep sea fishing.
I remember doing some uh, AFK fishing on a hardcore world and it completely ruined the experience for me I'll be honest with you it's uh it's just too cheaty and I'm kind of glad they patch it out on one hand I was like man it'd be great if we could just pour in the books and fishing poles and stuff but uh, man even if you just leave it one night overnight it's so many levels and so much loot that you get that it's just it ruins all the experience for me it just it wasn't fun anymore so i uh i will not be doing that and i think there's a new type of afk fish farm but i'm not going to do it here in this world we'll do the old style just normal old experience farms as we can Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, there we go. This this is lasting forever. This is great, though. A little boring, I apologize, but kind of a necessity. And like I said, not, uh, not too bad as far as getting some loot for us here so far. Our bow's definitely getting some upgrades. We can manage to snag one more good piece of loot before... Uh, before it turns daylight here, or before the rain stops, I think that we be pretty good shape. Should be over any second now, though. It's been a considerable amount of time. Mm, still nothing worthwhile. Come on now. Ah, yeah, I see. I knew it. I could feel it in my bones. All right, let's pull in this last fish and uh, hightail it downtown. All right, we're out of here. We are out of here. Let's go. All right, so now we're going to head over to the, uh, the zombie farm for a little bit. And like I said, time to do some decorating and a little bit of renovations. So I think the first thing I want to do before I do any decorating, I want to save the decorating for the very last thing. I want to just delve in there right off the bat and uh, get cracking on some, uh, some expansion. So, like I was kind of saying earlier, I want to get in there and uh, expand just the top part of it to where they get boosted up to the top. And I think if we make it as like a dark room landing area up there, we could possibly get some extra spawns. And that would be awesome. So, here's a zombie spawner. And I'm going to get in there and I'm going to torch it up first. I don't know why I brought all these fish with me. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just make a couple or... You know what we need to do, actually, since we're right here, let's go ahead and uh, just make our barrels for the... Actually, we got a lot of spruce. Let's do that. We'll make some uh, some barrels for the storage room over here as well. So let's see. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. Good grief. Um, let's start with eight for now, and I'm just going to set one here that we can throw kind of our extra junk in that we accumulated out fishing. And then these other seven... Woo! We'll uh, fall down the middle of this pit. Yeah. But we'll uh, just put them in here for now. Well, we got one extra. Let's see here. Just shove it right there. Not a big deal. And that'll be a uh, kind of a long term storage. And we'll make some additions to that thing as well. You see, I've accumulated a decent amount of little various trickings and odd in odds and ends in here. So, not too bad. I've just been mostly using it for experience more than anything. All right, so we'll stick the, uh, actually, let's take the pole, kind of keep everything a little bit organized, so when I go back up, to, uh, up, I know what I need to bring where. Okay, so, first things first. Let's jump in, let's torch it up. So I'm going to get in here, and get these spawns to stop. Get out of my face, get out of here. All right. That should be adequate enough to stop all the spawns in here. I think just the middle would be adequate enough, but you never know. So, get down there, big boys. Come on now. Yeah. Get on down there now. Oh, gosh. Did I just break that out right now, or did I have that happening before? Oh, I think I just broke it out right now. Okay, so let me fix that real quick. Put our sign back in there. There we go. Perfect. 
All right, so now the plan is, uh, first off, I need to just get up to the top and start expanding a little bit. So let me show you what I'm thinking here. So I'm gonna pop up all the way to the top here. And this is the area. So if I go ahead and make an area right here, get out on top. I'm thinking if I make a three, well, yeah, let's make it three. I think three is gonna be adequate enough. So, let's make it three tall here. And uh, I think if we make it long enough on the outside, we can possibly put this on like a redstone clock with dispensers and it will flush water. Once it flushes the water, it will go ahead and push all of them into this trough and then they'll fall down with everything else. Sounds good in theory, right? Let's see if we can make it happen, guys. So, I know water travels seven blocks, correct? Because this one is the source block here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, correct. So, if the source block is taken out, it travels seven blocks. So, we'll need to go seven blocks back here on this side alone. And I'm just going to do one side for now just to see if I can actually get this working properly because I don't want to overextend it and bite off more than I can chew and just ruin the entire design. But I think I can get this thing working properly, especially if we think about it logically. So there's four, five, six, and seven. Okay, perfect. So water will travel seven blocks. And now on the eighth block back here, that should be our spot for our dispensers, like I said. So we'll just need to put them on some type of simple, like hopper clock is my plan. And we'll add just enough items to it to where maybe this thing will go off like every 30 seconds or so. I think that'll be good. So let me, this is the row that's gonna be, and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and bust out this iron real quick too. I know, I know, we have plenty of iron, but uh, smelting up the iron always gives you pretty good experience, so I'm just going to go ahead and scoop that up while we're at it. Okay, now I'm sure I have to uh, extend this a little bit more as well, but um, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it just that for now. And that way we can go ahead and add our dispensers in, and then I'll go ahead and carve in behind it. So like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that should be good. So if the dispenser is here puts out the water, it'll flow all the way back. I think actually we need to go ahead and go one more back, right guys? Let's see, let me think about this here. So the dispenser actually puts the source block in front of the dispenser, so it would actually be there to push them all the way back. Yeah, yeah, okay, perfect. Now this is where the dispensers will go. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and finish up taking this stuff out of here. I'm going to grab all this coal and junk just because we're still newish, And we really don't have that much coal saved up, to be honest with you. I mean, we've got basically infinite iron with the iron farm we got going on. But, good grief, it is just everywhere. Holy cow. Even if we didn't have an iron farm, I think we'd have infinite iron. Stuff is just pouring out everywhere. All right, come on now. Come on now. All right. <laughs> now we don't need to decorate this area because this end up, uh, like I said, just being a dark room. But it's all this intention is, is to see if I can extend this from being just a singular zombie spawner slash uh, experience farm here to a more like open-ended all mob farm. So that's my goal here. So, um, I know I said I'm just going to do one side, but... Should I just go ahead and do it? Let's just go ahead and do it. You know what? Let's just pull the trigger because I know I want both sides. And if we have to put it on like a larger redstone clock, we might just end up putting it on a singular redstone clock that both sides can wash out. That sounds better actually now that I think about it. So we'll just have it on like a big redstone clock and it'll kind of cycle back and forth between both of the, uh, the sides here. One side will wash out. And then the other side will wash out and it kind of take turns back and forth. I like that idea a little bit better. So let me light this up just to make sure we don't get any spawns while we're actually working here. Keep this really well lit. 
Uh, we can actually fill in. That. Oh, that's a little bit of coal there. I said one chunk, yeah, of course. So we'll fill in all this here. All right. Get that stocked up. And finish out just this little bit. I don't want to leave any room for anything else to spawn. No crevices or nothing like that. I want to limit it to where just in this area is going to be our spawns. And the more well lit the surrounding areas we make, um, we can go ahead and get higher spawn rates in here as well, which will be nice. So we need to make sure that we have everything adequately lit up everywhere. More iron. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, get that stuff picking up. Boy, we're gonna have a lot of iron to smelt. That's alright. Tons of experience after this. We're already at 31. I've got plenty of things that I can use with that. So let's see how many we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I'm thinking right. We should. Is this the right one? Oh, that's falling. Is that falling into it or just right up to it, guys? Okay, okay, yeah, we had it right. We had it right. So, pick that up. And, uh, oof, all this gravel everywhere. That's right, we'll take a little bit more flint. No problem. All right. So go ahead and take out that. And now both sides are mirrored to one another. And we'll grab this coal while we're at it. Might as well. All right, come on. Big veins. Oh yeah. All the coal. Man, I need mending soon. Real soon, you guys. Yeah, the silk touch is just not doing it, I tell you that. Or the silk touch is just not lasting, I mean, sorry. It's uh it's fading pretty fast. It's just so good. Silk touch is definitely my favorite style of pig. Just used on everything, it's amazing. Uh I'll come back and fill that in at some point, possibly. <laughs> Maybe I'm lying to myself. Uh you know what? Nah, let's just fill it in right now. Why not? Because these are like flat spots where mobs are going to spawn, and that's just going to kill our raids more. So, unfortunately, we got to fill in the coal gaps. All right, let's get this done real quick. Won't take but just a second. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. So, I hope you guys like the addition of the background music. Uh, I went ahead and started that out. Uh, recently just on this stream and uh, so far I, I like it um, on my end it seems just a little loud but I tried to make it on your guys's end to where it's not uh, so overpowering so if you feel like that the music is just like just ridiculously overbearing at times just let me know and I'll uh, I can adjust it at any time so just let me know what you guys think all right, we are trucking along here. We do not have much left to go. Can you believe how much coal that was? Good grief. The whole coal mine. Oh, come on. Come on now, tragedy. Get your stuff together. All right. There we go. All right. I think we're back in shape now. So if this thing spits out right there, it's going to pop right into there. Perfect. So that's exactly where we want it to be. Now let's go ahead and light that up as well. And now the next step is that we're going to need to make uh, a bunch of dispensers in order to uh, feed these all out. So what do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven slots for us to feed out. So we need 14 dispensers and then we can come back over here. So. I think I actually made like a little hole. I want to say, is it here? Nope, it wasn't here. Uh, okay. 
Where are we at now? <laughs> uh, I hear our zombie spawner. We're close. Okay, I think we're in the back of our zombie spawner. Yeah, we are. All right. <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll uh, we'll just take a little detour here. There we go. And zip in and out of there. And yep, just uh, yep. Never never talk about that again. All right, cool. So we'll head over here. I know we had some string because we were doing the uh, the abandoned mine shaft over here, but don't know if we have enough yeah we only got four well let's go ahead and run upstairs real quick to the base and we'll grab is it dark it looks pretty dark let's see let's just go ahead and try and sleep i bet you we can yeah so we'll go ahead and sleep and then we'll run upstairs and we will uh grab some string i think we have a pretty good amount of string upstairs to be honest with you so I'm not going to save this singular chicken breast. We'll just eat that thing. Well, we need to grab this stuff, too. Now that we're doing librarians pretty soon, getting all that stuff situated, I just cannot get enough paper. I know that they're going to need a bajillion pieces of it, so... Every time I pass by and I see this stuff growing up, I just go ahead and snag it up. Why not? Might as well. We need to really make a, an automated sugarcane farm soon enough because uh, that's just a necessity, really. So, let's see. Where's that Enderman I just saw? Is he still around here? You hanging out? Yeah, there you are. Uh, hello? Why is... Uh, why is this guy trying to make me do hardcore parkour, man? I don't want to do this. And hey, what is that guy doing, man? Die. I'm just standing out here in the middle of the day. The heck, dude? Hacks. Some hacks, bro. All right. Let us head on over here and dump the reeds and grab uh, the string. Yeah, we need the string. That's what we're here for. Oh, gosh, yeah. Holy cow. Uh, let's do that and that. And we'll make just a bunch of sticks. I don't want to do quite that many. That's plenty. So, what did I say? 14? So, we need 14 bows, you guys. Ooh. All right. Can we... Yep. There we go. Is that 14? Did we make enough slots? I don't know if we actually have enough spots there. Oh, let's go ahead and grab or put that in there real quick. And we got the stone to put away. We'll throw that in real quick. Gravel. Uh, stack those up. And I did put a, a bunch of reeds. Actually, you know what? Let's just make those into paper real quick. I put a bunch of reeds into the, uh, the mass storage unit over there. However, um... I'm going to start sticking a couple over there, over here as well, just so I can kind of break up where I have everything. Like I said, this is still the one-stop adventure shop, guys. Got to make sure it's fully stocked at all times. So, we'll still keep a couple reeds over here and stuff, but I've uh, I've divvied up a lot of loot to the other spots. Kind of allocated it out a little bit. So, let me put those back real quick. And get that just a little bit more situated. Okay, so we've got 5, 10, 12. So, we need two more bows. Bop and bop. Perfect. So 14 bows. And now, I'll be completely honest. I forget what the actual combination is or the recipe is for dispensers. So we're going to cheat. <laughs> so here we go. All right. So we need cobblestone, a little bit of redstone. Okay. That's what it is. So, all right. So we'll grab our cobble and we've got some redstone up here. Perfect. I think that should be good. Well, do we need more cobble than that? Let's just grab another little bit just in case we need a little bit more than that. So. Now we can do dispensers. Bop. Dispenser. 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 And just making absolutely sure. I think they fixed it, but it used to. It would use up, sometimes it would use up like your your bow. Like your good bow that you don't want to go away. And so we didn't need more cobble. 
Uh, but yeah, that was always a little heartbreaking back in the day to accidentally click on that too quick. So I'm always a little leery. See, okay, so I won't even take a uh, enchanted bow anymore. Thank goodness. Yeah, I think whenever I used to play there for a while, it was it was a little bit more cruel on you. All right, uh, we have redstone down there, but I'm going to go ahead and bring a little bit more because I know that uh, we're going to be using up a good amount. So why not go ahead and just make sure we have a substantial amount down there. So grabbing the redstone, we've got our dispensers. What else do we need, folks? Uh, we need a bunch of iron. That's what we need. We need a bunch of iron for buckets. We need at least 14 buckets. So I'm going to go ahead and make the full 14. I know we have some down there. I know. Don't scream at me. I know. I can hear you screaming. I know. Calm down. I said calm down. <laughs> so uh, we've got buckets down there, but I'm just going to go ahead and make 14 because those are going to be good buckets that are going to be gone forever, basically, because they're going to be put into the dispenser for good. I don't plan to have, ever have to take them back out. But we'll uh, we'll go ahead and bring those. Uh, what else do we need, guys? What else do we need? Let's think. Mm, I think we might have everything else down there already. We had a pretty good assortment of stuff in that chest, so I don't think we necessarily had to come back for anything besides that. Let's head down there. I think we're good to head down there. If you didn't notice, I have another lighting glitch right about here. You know what it is? It's the curse of the diorite. It's because diorite is hideous, but eh. What are you going to do? All right, so we've got this all lit up. We've got everything opened. Uh, we're gonna head inside. Let's see what else we need to bring up to the top with us here. Um, let's bring some building blocks just to make sure we've got stuff up there. So I'm gonna bring some stone. And what else do we got? Well, let's see, we're gonna need, let's grab a little bit more iron because like I said, I wanna make hopper clocks. So we're gonna need to make at least Two chests. And with those two chests, oops, I don't know why I got out of there. I'll make two hoppers. So two hoppers, two chests. Let's see here. We've got all that situated. Don't want to have to make a second run down here. So I'm trying to make sure we got everything we need. I'm actually going to go ahead and bring um, a couple extra buckets of water to make an infinite water source up there. Can we do that now with this? Um, well, we can go ahead and take... Oh, it, it was working, but it was just acting really weird. Okay. All right. I don't know. Sometimes that's, uh, water's probably one of my least favorite things in Minecraft, to be honest with you. It's so weird how it just reacts sometimes by itself. I don't know. But we are going to go ahead and head on up here. We've got our hoppers for a hopper clock. Got some building blocks. Got our dispensers. We'll make our infinite water source up top. We've got our redstone. Let's do it. Boom. All right, so we're up. Grab the dispensers. Let's get those in place real quick. All right, perfect. So all the dispensers in there. Now we need to figure out how we actually want to dispense the water. Oh, of course, you would be a gravel-filled just node of destruction here so all right all right now we got that let's get this other side real quick so got that all right now i kind of want to test this I kind of want to test this. Let's let's make some test runs here. So I'm just going to make one stone button so we can make sure we're testing exactly what we got going on here because I want to do this correctly. All right, so if we have redstone that goes on top of it, will that trigger a water bucket with a pulse of energy? Yes, it will. Okay. Now, we'll take that out of there. We'll get that back. Pick that up. Put that in. Now, if it just goes into the back of it, what about that? Oop. 
Okay, what if we come in from this side? All right, now that should work as well, I believe. Oh, we already have a bucket in there. Yes, we do. Okay. Now. And that also works. Okay. So now we've done both tests, and we're aware that no matter if the redstone goes on top of it or into the back of it, it will still come out with the same results. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out this area now. So we can get all the wiring hooked up to each one of these guys. Oh, you know what I forgot, guys? I know exactly what I forgot now. We are going to need some uh, some crystal for uh, repeaters. We're going to need some repeaters. So that's all right. We'll uh, we'll make a run back up here pretty soon. We'll uh, we'll finish this up until then. So let's see here. Let's stick. First off, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and make an infinite water source. We'll throw that down right here. And then we're going to take all 14 of our buckets. Oops. Get those out of there. We'll do 14 buckets. Can we fill them all? Let's put a couple up so we don't mess this up here. Alright. Get this whole row done. Why not? Alright, so we got that whole row done, and now we can go ahead and finish it out with the last few. And it should be the last seven here. Awesome. Alright, so we've got that all situated exactly how we want. Now let's continue to work on this side. Uh, we can go ahead and just seal. Well, why not? We'll go ahead and fill these up too because we're going to need it. So we'll fill this out. And then head back here. And I think we can. Can we do this? Alright, what if we do that? I want to test this, but I don't want it to ruin my <laughs> I don't want it to ruin my circuitry here. So we're gonna go ahead and put a button down. That should fire all of them, all the way to the edge. Perfect. Now we're gonna hit it again. It'll retract the water, and we can pick up our button. Awesome. All right. So this side is basically functioning as intended. So that's the idea that I have. Is that hopefully. In the meantime of us standing down there, we'll get a couple just passive spawns that will spawn in this area up here. And then we'll have the redstone clock that will tick away and fire off the water occasionally. So, let us head... Uh, yeah, we can take that drop, I'm pretty sure. Let's see here. Let's just, uh, let's just MLG it anyway. All right, there we go. So we'll head up. Uh, where did we go last time? <laughs> Where's our little hole that we dug up into nowhere after? Let's see. I know it wasn't back this way, but I'm curious if there's just a simpler way for us to go. And eh, there's not. So uh, was it here? Oh, what? What's, was that it? Was it? Hello? Hello? Hello, sir? Ma'am? Uh, no, that's not it either. Okay. Oh, you know what? It's this. It's this right here, I think. Right, guys? I'm an idiot, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. I'm an idiot. I apologize. <laughs> All right. So... Now we got that done. Oh, uh, crystal. We need to head up and grab some crystal. So I want to plop all this stuff back in here just to stack it up nicely. I like to keep it all uh, as organized as I can, obviously. <laughs> but what I mean is I like to keep everything the stacks as much as I possibly can. I like to keep it all stacked up. So we'll uh, keep these stacks organized in here. Can I just break these for... No, nah, they're not going to give me any flint, of course. It'll take forever. 48 more tries to get anything out of it. All right, let's go get some crystal up top. Oh, it's nighttime again. 
Lord Almighty. What day are we on, guys? I feel like we're, uh, I think we're nearing day 200 now. Let's see here. Day 189. 189. Not bad, not bad at all. I don't know. I watched a lot of, uh, YouTubers that do the thousand day challenge and stuff, man. It's a uh, thousand days is actually quite a lot of playtime. It's uh, it's nothing to uh, it's nothing to scoff at, that's for sure. So let's see here. Uh, this is my box here of crystal. Good grief, that's all I got. Oh, hello, sir. You gotta go. All right, so we need, I think we might need to go in and get a little bit more crystal, you guys. Let's go ahead and run into the nether real quick. It ain't gonna hurt anything to run in there real quick and grab just a little bit more. It's gonna be great experience, and plus, I, I'm surprised that we don't have more, like. Do we have chests in the nether? I can't really remember. Let's chunk that button, it's one piece of stone. We don't need to save it. God, I'm such a pack rat sometimes. You guys have that same problem? Are you just pack rats? Just hoard away piles and piles of junk that you probably are never going to use again. So, let's go over here. I'm going to jump in this nether portal. Actually, you know what? I'm going to break this nether portal. And I want to see what our uh, coordinates are in the nether. I was thinking about why this keeps happening. And I'm thinking maybe for whatever reason I don't have the portal on the inside of the nether linked up but i don't know how that's possible if that's the only one that's ever spawned so it's it's confusing to me i it drives me nuts i don't know guys oh uh let's get the uh silk touch i don't know it's low but it's efficiency and it's so much faster for this so we'll take down this obsidian real quick and we'll take but just a second Can't wait for efficiency five. I mean, efficiency four is already amazing in its own right, but holy cow, efficiency five is amazing. Cannot wait. We have some really cool additions to this world coming up, guys. I promise. We're just kind of scraping the surface now. I know that I've had some good comments, great constructive feedback on like the barn, a lot of positivity there. Uh, everyone's really liking the ravine how that's coming out but so uh, hold on guys i haven't even begun to show you what i'm capable of yet so we'll uh we'll delve into that a little bit more projects coming up soon i can't wait to get into some of the bigger stuff and uh, you know even this thing it was fun but this is uh this is another amazing amazing cr uh, content creators build and if you haven't seen that episode on my hardcore survival series, please drop by, check that out, because that was a really fun build. It's a, it's a content creator named Avomance, and man, he just comes up with some incredible ideas. Super gifted guy, but uh, love that build. It's a little bit one of the older ones. It's just so good for hardcore, though. It's got a little bit of everything you need. Let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, we do have some chests. That's right. I remember. Oh, Lord. I figured that. I, I, I literally was about to say, we're going to find some, some baddies in here, but I didn't expect for it to be within the first two seconds. So, yeah. Hello, boys. So, let's see what we got in here. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I remember just mining like crazy. I got all the gold. I forgot we had so much gold. Oh man, you guys! I I, I am, whew, I'm ridiculous. I swear. Let me check here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick snapshot of this real fast, just so I know. Negative 25, positive 56. Because if this takes us back out to the beach yet again, I think that I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, 
something something is just wrong with this i don't know what's going on so i might have to like realign the portal that we have inside of the nether with the the overworld portal instead of vice versa and i'm not sure why that is maybe it's a bug maybe i'm just forgetting how nether portals actually work and i'm just an idiot that's probably the case <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll just have to see. So, sucks that we had to waste our time breaking that nether portal down. But, I mean, at this point, it's like basically an infinite source of obsidian. It's just an obsidian farm. That's that's what it is, guys. It's an obsidian farm. Yeah, it's like, you know what? We ought to just make a place where we can farm more obsidian than I'll ever need in my life. Don't at me about the end, okay? I know. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see. Repeater. Oh, let's do... What am I doing here? Redstone. We got redstone comparator. Oh, I've never made a redstone torch before? Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. Uh, Yep, yeah, noob alert on this, uh, on this world. I'll tell you what. Good gravy. Uh, let's just make all 38. Yeah, why not? Who cares? We got plenty. All right, so... Now we can make redstone repeaters, and repeaters need stone. Okay, that's right. Stone, stone, stone. So we've got the... All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do redstone repeaters, and let's make like eight. Let's make like eight of them right now. And that'll be a good spot to start at least. Okay, so let's top off a redstone, and now it's time to head back over there. Let's see if we can get this cracking now, because now that we've got our repeaters and uh, the ability to get even more if need be, we can definitely get this job rolling a little bit better here. And we're at level 32 now. We're just zooming up through the levels while we're tinkering around over here. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, 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 okay. So, we've got some torches. We actually don't need all that stuff, but it won't even fit back in there. So, let's see. What else do we need up here, guys? Uh, um, top those off. I think we're pretty much set, guys. I don't think we necessarily need anything else. If we do, it's just going to be right here instead of having to go all the way back to the base. So let's jump in here, and I think we can zip up to the top again. Oh, good grief. Dummy. That could have been catastrophic. Okay, so now that we're up here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and run the signals together. So we need to make a line over here of where the signals can meet. And this is perfect, right where I wanted. And yes, we are absolutely going to grab this coal because I'm greedy. I'm greedy. I know. You don't have to tell me, okay? I need it. I know we have 65,431 pieces now, and I say that we're low, and every time you look at me, you're like, look, you're not low. And I'm like, look, I have 48 furnaces, and they're not all full of coal, and then you guys get mad, and I'm, you know, we've been through this, you guys, okay? We've been through this. Uh, oh, I need to fill that in. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, let's see. Now, I need to actually just go ahead and let's do this real quick. Just so I remember, like, that's a spot. But I need to come back here and knock this out because we need to go ahead and run our wire for this one as well. I'm going to swap that out real quick, too. I hate to get cobble, but I really don't want to keep wearing on that silk touch because it's my favorite and I want to make it last as long as I can. All right. And let's see here. Now we did this last time. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, and now we can come ahead and come in behind it. And we're going to run the signal out this direction. I 
did not mean to break that wall right there. I'm just dumb. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So we actually, yeah, we don't need to put in top. We just need to have this as a singular row all the way across. But I'm going to go ahead and light it up a little bit because I really don't want any mobs spawning back here. So let's get a little bit of light along here. And now we can go ahead and put in this all the way across. You know, and instead of, you know, I, I was like, let's do the alternating thing, but I think it's going to be just fine if we just meet them up in the middle. That's going to be the, the easiest approach to this, and I am all about ease on myself. There is no need to make this all difficult. So let's go ahead and we're going to top this off as well. And we'll close this in. And this is how it's going to look, basically. So we'll come back through here. I don't I really don't even need that either right now. And we'll fill this in. All right. Looking good. Looking good. We have some more. Got cobble. Let's use up that cobble. That'll work. Okay. So that's basically where we're sitting right now. Now, if we go into the very center of this thing, which is right here, and clear out a little spot here, and we, oh, I need one piece of stone. I need to get me a button. Because I want to see what the signal strength is here. Why is that one acting weird? Oh, okay. It didn't fire off that one. That's why the signal strength. Okay. Well, that answers the question right there. So let's go ahead and hit that again. We'll retract what we've got up. And we need to go ahead and each one of these sides is going to need a repeater to continue on the strength. And I don't necessarily think we need to. One, two, three. One, two, three. We'll do on the fourth. Yep. Now that's going to go ahead and carry on the signal strength. And now it should... Boom, all the way into the center. Everything is super duper dark, just like we need it. Awesome. This is exactly what I needed, guys. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and retract once again. Get this relit just for safety precautions because I don't want our stuff to get blown up in the middle of our progress. And I'm going to go ahead and fill out just a little bit more here that there put that there awesome okay so now I haven't done too many redstone clocks but believe the way that we're gonna do this we're gonna set a hopper here and then we have this hopper feeding into that hopper then we're gonna pick that hopper back up and have that hopper feeding into that hopper so now that they're both set there we can go ahead and fill it up with something that's stackable why not iron who cares so it's going to go back and forth between the two hoppers. Oh, give me that. I, give me that. Yes. Okay. So it's going to uh, feed back and forth. And I believe that's how that's going to work. I don't know if it's going to do that quick. I need it to be slower than that. So we might need to, can we put like that, 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 that. Nope, that's not how it works either. So, I might need to mess with this just a little bit more. Let's see here. And I know if we added the signal around to the back. that work no okay all right I need to break all this and I think I need to actually go ahead and take a peek here and see so I am having trouble remembering 
hopper clocks here. I know that we'll need to have, I think we might need to do uh, like some comparators. So let's see here. I think the, oh, you know what we need? We need sticky pistons too. Yep, yep, yep. So this is our hole, right? Yeah, let's drop down this hole again real quick. And, uh, oof. <laughs> I did not MLG that time, guys. Oh, Lord. At least we know we can take a drop from that far and not die. So feels good. That's a real good feels good. Right? Wrong. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Fill this back in. Uh, let's go grab our uh, slime. We're going to need some slime balls for this. So let me let me go ahead and I'm going to take just a couple seconds, run to the bathroom real quick, and then I'll be right back and we're going to go grab our slime balls and then we're going to go ahead and make that uh, hopper clock functional. So give me just one sec, guys. And I'll be right back with you. Alrighty guys, let's hit back in here. Alright, apologize about that. Nature calls sometimes. So let's get in here and uh, I'm going to run up here and grab our uh, slime balls real quick because I know I'm missing something to this key functionality. I'm trying to remember exactly how to uh, to configure a etho hopper clock is what this thing is called. And it's been a while, and it's just go off the top of my head. I'm having just a little bit of trouble remembering here. But I think, uh, I think I'm think i starting to remember now. So as long as I grab that and that there, I'm going to go ahead and stick this junk in there real quick because I don't need that at all. Get rid of that real fast. And I know we need to make a couple of... Sticky pistons. So let's make a couple of sticky pistons real fast. I can't remember if it takes sticks or planks. I think it's just planks, right? Uh, piston, piston. And now sticky piston, sticky piston. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. And now I also need a block of redstone there. And. I think that's it for now. Okay. All right. No, no, no. Actually, I need a comparator. I need a comparator. Two of them. Boom. There we go. Now I think I've got everything. Good grief. Sorry, guys. It's been a while since I made one of these things. That's why I need chat to help me out. 
I need some assistance. <laughs> I need my guardian angels to help me out. So I don't turn into a tragedy. Har, har, har. Yeah, I know. You can just unsubscribe now. It's fine. Just unfollow, unsubscribe. <laughs> I get it, guys. I would probably do the same after that cheesy joke. All right. On a more serious note, we're back up here. Let's get in here. So, now I know I had this part right. I know we need to do hopper here, hopper into that hopper, hopper there. Okay, now they're facing into each other. Now, we'll, I think we need to get this here. Raise just a bit more. Okay, give me a little bit of headroom there. All right, so now comparator heading, is it heading into it or out of it? I think it's heading out of yeah, heading out of it because the signal needs to be detected coming out of there. Now we want it to, to be a repeater on the other side. I don't know if you said I think you said it to three ticks, but let's see. We're gonna try it out with either way just to see what kind of results we get. Oh, do I need to back this up one? I think I do. Yeah, I need to back this up one. Dang, guys. Sorry. All right. It is just a catastrophe up here. But, like I said early on in the series, you're never going to catch me, like, trying to plan stuff way far ahead of time. I don't know. Maybe that's just being a bad streamer, I guess. But I don't want to, like, give false results, guys. I like to have a more actual, real interaction with you guys i don't know it's hard to say but or it seems just a little silly i guess it's i, I want authentic authenticity i guess is what i'm looking for i want to be authentic with you guys i want to make sure the the stuff you're tuning in for is what you expect and then what i expect out of my youtubers and streamers is actually show me everything man show me your human being i hate watching somebody and they they seem like they're completely flawless all the time, so nobody ever makes any mistakes. We're human beings. We all make mistakes, so it's okay to show those off every once in a while, bring a light to them. Sometimes it brings a little comedic effect, I think, too, so. But with all that being said, my endless rambling as usual, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and bring this around. Now, I believe... What we want to do is we want to have, oh, we need it the other way, other way, other way. There we go. Got it like that. And we'll have that on one side. Um, believe. I'm getting it. Let's see, set that subtract mode. Okay, now it's sending off the signal, but. All right, so that's all functional. Is it working, guys? Holy cow, I think we might actually have it, guys. Good grief. Look at there. I think we actually accomplished something. Hoorah! <laughs> uh, this old man can game every once in a while, you guys. Look at me go. It only took uh, massive failures and slightly peeking at Google Images in order to help me out. But, god dang it, we did it. <laughs> Look at there, guys. Now, my question is, do we think that that's adequate enough timing to get any kind of spawns up here at all? That is our question. So let's see what we got here, guys. What we're gonna do is I wanna go ahead and block off. I don't think that this is gonna block off signal, right? But we gotta block off light as much as we can. Yeah, that didn't block off signal, so we're good there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill those in. Because we need to block off as much light as possible with all this stuff. Now that's where they're going to pop up at. Oh. Actually, we're going to just do this.
Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now I think we can actually just go ahead. I don't think anything is spawning here, right guys? Should we go ahead and fill in all this? I think let's go ahead and just fill it all in, right? I mean, better safe than sorry. So let's just go ahead and make sure that nothing can spawn in here. Cause I don't, I just don't want like an enderman or something coming out and ruining this, right? Am I being overprotective? Am I being silly? All right. Well, we don't want anything in here spawning cause this all, we're going to put a couple lights in here. Right guys? Is this gonna work? Is this a thing? Are we doing a thing? What do you think guys? Is this enough light? Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. Let's see. This button right here. Let's see. Um we're looking at light. It's all zero. Oh, we got like a couple light, like right, right in here. But that's just where they're like flying up, so that doesn't really matter. What we're looking for is light, like right. So there's one tiny light level right there, and that is it. Hmm. I think it's good though. I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna roll with it. I think it's just fine, you guys. All right, so it moved over again. Oh, look, 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 look. I cut off the signal. Yep, cut off the signal, guys. Yep, sure did. Okay, so we cannot have it like that. We cannot have it like that. Is that adequate enough light level, though? Let's clear this back up. And then we're gonna see if that's enough light level or not. Or low enough light level, I guess I should say. We wanna make sure this is no light levels. I'm just gonna open it all back up. I just wanna see exact whoop 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 whoop. Okay. Is everything working as intended again? That's what we need to know. Are we back to fully operational again? It does not look like it. Where did we go wrong? What what's happened? Let's remove most of these just so we can get a faster pulse so we can see what's going on okay it is working it is working right yes it is working okay so we're good we are good so i think i'm going to stack up all that stone in there I'm not quite exactly how sure how much that is in there, but I think that's going to be adequate enough. And now we can go ahead and pop that. Jump there. Right? All right. You know what I'm ready for, guys? I'm ready for a test. That's what I'm ready for. I am ready for a test. How about you? Let's get down here and see if we can get anything at all to spawn up here, guys. Anything at all. All right, we're going MLG. All right, take that out of there. Give us back our carpet. We need our carpet. Oh no, look at all. <laughs> look at all the junk we've accumulated in there from us working up there. That's funny. Okay, all right, so we'll plop that back in there. Let me put that in there. Uh, yeah, I think that'll work for right now, guys. We don't need it to be too, too fancy or anything like that. So, all right. Now, actually we could, let's just go ahead and actually leave it blank. Or, uh, pff, blank. Let's leave this lit up. Because here's my, here's my thought process, guys. Let's, uh, let's see. If we have anything at all coming into the chute. 
So I think I'm going to give it just a minute or two here to see if we get anything that comes down that chute. And if it doesn't, then that just means that it's not far enough away from us for mobs to spawn. And that sucks. That sucks. That means that we pretty much did all that for nothing. But, you know, you live and you learn. So if nothing else, I might change it up a little bit more. And we might end up going to where it's a little bit further away from us, even further. But I'm not too sure on that one either, because that would mean that we're going to have to change up our drop height and everything. And right now we have it set up to where everything is a one hit once it comes down to the bottom. And I really don't want to mess with that too, too much, you guys. So let's see. I'm going to chunk some of this stuff back into the old storage. And I'm going to throw a couple of these things in there, too, because we're getting pretty full up. Hmm. I wish we, uh, I kind of wish we had like a normal mode game to where I could go into spectator and just see what's going on up there. But I mean, the proof is in the pudding and unfortunately our bowl is empty. So I don't know if that did anything at all. Hmm. You guys let me know what else we could do better on that there. Let me, let me know if you think that we need to I think it needs to be further away from us. I think that it might need to be like a certain block distance away from us. And at this point, I just don't know if it's far enough away. So that's kind of a bummer, man. But that's okay. We live, we learn, we keep on growing, right? So we're going to keep on growing here. Keep on learning. And we're not going to get too discouraged, guys. We're going to get up here and... I actually want to get a little bit of uh, a finishing touches put in up here. I want to get a little bit of decorating done uh, before we wrap up our stream today. Because that, uh, that was part of our plans too, was to get a little bit of decorating done. So let's see what we can do here. We've got uh, a couple more pieces. Of, oh, what am I doing? I'm breaking the wrong thing. There we go. Silly. All right. Well, they're headed in. Why is there so much light down there? Good grief. I think I'm going to head back in real quick. And do we have a... Oh, that's why it was uh, it was one of the torches that I had dropped already. Running uh, Optifine, I have uh, like the ambient lights on for you guys. So you have a little bit easier time seeing in the dark i know it gets real dark and i have the brightness setting set to max in this world so uh, i know it gets a little bit much though but uh, we're already having some deaths uh-oh let's see here go ahead and throw that in there and let's uh let's do a little bit of decorating guys so i want to go ahead and open up some of these as well but i want to put uh, some kind of guard up so <laughs> we don't have just random mobs flooding through there but I do kind of like the look of the uh, the mine shaft kind of being attached here so I'm actually gonna throw another one of these up right here where it used to be and just continue that aesthetic a little bit more down there and I believe we've got one over here as well yeah so let's kind of crack that open just a little bit. And I want to put in some stairs there. Yeah, perfect. All right. I'm gonna get rid of all this granite down here. You know what? Let's uh, let's do a cool floor. Let's do something cool. Let's do a cool floor as we come in here. Why not? Let's see what we got here.
All right, get rid of some of that granite up there, fill that in with some stone, and then we can do something with the floor. I think let's do something a little bit wacky. Let's do something a little bit wild. Why not? Uh, I think maybe let's throw down like some, uh, some polish andesite or some polish something. I don't know. Some kind of polished stone. Let's see what we got in here. Let's do something a little bit wonky. Um, you know what? Let's do some diorite. Why not? Let's go bananas. Okay. Let's do some polished diorite. We've got a boatload of it upstairs, too. So it's not like it's, you know, in any kind of shortage. So we'll do some polished diorite. And why not? Let's get some slabs in there, too. So, what do we got? What do we got here, guys? What do we got? We got, uh, like, 80 pieces of what it looks like. Let's kill these guys real quick, because the entity cramming's already just... Oh, I'm sorry, chicken. You know what? You gotta go, too, man. There was a chicken in here before, and, you know, you're trying to take his place, and I don't much appreciate it. I'll be honest with you. Oh! Guys? Guys, did we get, did we get a skelly in there? Hey now, hey now. We might have actually got a drop or two. I'm not gonna jinx us here, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything, all right? Just don't, don't, don't look at it, guys. Don't even speak on it. But, that's kind of promising. Let's keep our eyes open. We might have actually lucked out more than what I thought. All right, let's see here. Finish out this whole area with some polished granite. Why not? Let's see what's let's see what's going on. Or some polished uh, diorite. I'm sorry. Why do I like this? Why do I like this, guys? I don't know why I like it, but I kind of like it. I think I'm going to keep it. Oh, no. What's wrong with me? I don't know. Ah. Ah. You know what? And I'm sitting here brainstorming about how to fix this. I think what I'm going to do. Okay. I think, here's, what, here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to do another live stream real soon. I might do one tomorrow. I don't know. Okay, because now that now that I'm brainstorming, I, I'm 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 going. Okay, I'm going with ideas. I got them. I got them flooding in now. Okay, hear me out. Let's raise this. Okay, this is junk. All right, this is junk right here. I don't know why we did it into a hole. It's stupid. We need to raise this up. So right now, it's sitting here. We need to have it to where it's sitting here. That's our spot. That is where. We should have the legs of our zombies poking through. This should be our flat area, okay? See what I'm saying, guys? If we do bop, 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 just like that, this should be our area right here. I don't know why it's not, okay? But with that in mind, we'll raise it, which also means we raise up the area above it. So we're going to have to do a little bit of adjustments on it. But now that we've got our methods down, we can do it much easier and much faster. So I think we get up there and we, uh, I'm going to get this while we're talking too, chit chatting here. So I think we get up there and let's make it multi-leveled. Okay. So we've experimented with one level and we've seen that we've gotten very, very, very limited results, but if we get in there and make it to where that's the bottom level, let's say, okay? Then we put another level right above it that's another seven wide that we can flush water. So we flush another pool above that one into the existing pool that we already have. What is this? What is this? Why is this here? Why is this here? 
What is that? What is that? I don't like this. Oh my god. Uh. Guys. <clears throat> well. So. I found a bit of a reason why I think we're getting some limited results there, folks. Maybe it's because there's a, a horde of spiders up here. What if we make it too tall? What if we make it too tall, guys? I think we make it too tall and we are doing nothing but winning. And we slaughter all the bats. Okay. It's time to reassess. Let's get in here. Let's get in here. I think we got this now. Let's see if we can get just a smidge better results. What the heck? That bat was creeping me out. Let's see if we can get a little bit better results if we flesh this out a little bit more. And make it only too tall. That should only make it to where we get zombies. Creepers. No, right? Ah, man, I don't know. Hmm. What's a preventative way to keep spiders out of your stuff? I don't know, but we need to figure it out. We definitely have to figure it out. But at least we're on to something now. I think we're I think we're coming up into some uh, some good ideas here, so Oh my god. Uh, that was a terrible idea. Why did I do that? Good grief almighty. That could have been like just tragic. Could have been a tragedy. I don't know why I did that. <sighs> okay. Well, regardless, let's uh, let's keep on going here. So... I want to change all the diorite we just got into polish. Let's continue to flush this out, fill in this just a little bit more. Because I really like the look and I just want to get the whole place done up with it. See guys, you can't tell me that that's not going to look like way better once we get this filled in. And then we can just have like a little area we we'll review and collect side by side. We can decorate this wall right here. We can have it a little bit more adorned. Oh, look, see? We are getting some extra spawns in there, guys. We are getting a couple. It's not a lot by any means, but God dang it, they're in there. Hmm. Mm hmm, hmm. Okay. Now, let's get back into cobblestone mode here. Uh, what do we got? We do a post all right. Do a little bit of that. Well, we need three more pieces. Can we get? Yeah, yeah. There's some right there. One, two, three. Perfect. That way we can make a full block out of this stuff, and it won't take up any more inventory space. Let's save a slot there. Oh, I'm so ready for the bundles, you guys. The bundles in the new update is going to be game changing I am so excited all right let's see here do 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 level 34 still trucking along god dang we are doing well all right you know what let's just uh no, nah, I don't want to fill those in quite yet, because that'll, that'll be a nuisance to have to get up and down in. Okay. There. Okay, we've got two stacks of building blocks. Now, we can go ahead and head up there again. Well... Let's uh, let's go up the way we just went, cause I kind of want to fill <laughs> fill in some of this stuff here. 
Like this one right here needs to be filled in. I don't know why that's even a thing. All right. just so much junk I'm gonna put a bunch of this stuff into this down here just temporarily that way we can like just a smidge more room in this chest because good god it is filling up quick so quick all right that looks a little bit better that looks a little bit better now back to the mission at hand here let's grab our stones and we need to eat real quick, and then we're going to head up into uh, the fray. Well, let's, uh, let's go in here this way. All right, perfect. Get out of my way, boys. We got business to do. We're heading up. All right. Now this time I don't see any spiders, but who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? So let's go ahead and keep on filling this in though, because I want to make sure it's at least somewhat spider safe, because man, that was terrible. All right, come on now. I thought I heard the hopper clock go off, but I guess I didn't. There it is. Okay, all filled in, one singular level. Now what I was trying to explain earlier, like I said, we need to raise it up. But we can go ahead and raise it up and then make it multi-tiered so we'll make it to where like another one above this level flows in and pushes the water into this level here and then this one will flow into the final trough so i think that might be pretty beneficial altogether we might actually end up getting some pretty decent rates out of it then but until then i think we can just go ahead and like do a little bit more Decorating, and we don't need to push ourselves too much here. Look at all of them down there. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. two tiers now and that's a good feeling at least we've got something done to where we kind of increase the productivity of this thing so let's see here we got about 20 minutes or so left to the stream I think I'm gonna go ahead and continue uh, decorating just a little bit here I uh, I'd like to go ahead and just finish out the little bit of the storage room here and I think we can go ahead and I'm going to put in a couple of like armor stands in here and let's make it fun. Let's do a, let's do a little bit of uh, decorating in here. So 
I know I want to get. Let's get some cobble in there. Let's get some stone. Oh lord, where's all our cobble? We do we do? Oh, well, I mean, we've got some, but God, we would plow through that cobble. Okay. So we'll grab all that, all our wood, all that good stuff. And go ahead and I want to make like a smithing table. Do a couple of furnaces down here. We've got our crafting table already. You know, a stone cutter for sure. That'll make us feel nice and warm and welcome down here, right? Awesome. And I want to do a couple iron bars as well. So instead of the glass, I think I'm going to go ahead and do some iron bars and see what we think about that instead. Oh, yeah. That looks way more tough. Way more tough looking. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I like that a lot. So we'll do that. And you know what? As a matter of fact, we'll go ahead and make it look like we've kind of sectioned this off with iron bars as well for a safety precaution. Yeah, I like it. It just looks like that these have been barred off for safety from the masses of hordes of creatures that could lurk in the depths down there. Yeah, I like that a lot, guys. I like that a whole lot. Heck yeah. All right, let's swap out some of this stuff. I think I'm going to do... Now, we got a bunch of quartz down here. Let's do... Um, what would look better with the diorite? Some iron blocks? Oh, yeah. We're getting some skellies in there. We're getting all kinds of fun stuff in there now. Oh, yeah, guys. We're getting some fun stuff in there now. Heck, yeah. Heck, yeah. All right. Yeah, like I was saying, what's going to match well with this? Let's go with... Now we did have some of these. Let's do some of these actually. Yeah. Well. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. That looks good right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now, that spot. Yep, that's going to be there. And then this right there. Oh, oh, no. Right. Oh, Lord. I'm messing up. I'm choking. Palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. All right. Let's see here. Let's throw up a little bit more light there and there. I think we're still getting seven on the block. Yep, that's perfect there. All right. Fill in those real quick. Actually, I'm just going to swap that back out. Yeah, I like that a lot. And I think I'm going to go ahead and throw in... Oh, let's see here. We need to get some lanterns going. And get a few pieces of chain, too. I don't even necessarily know we need the chain. I'm just going to put a couple lanterns, so I'll kind of dot it around. Looks like give us on a block light. That block is still seven. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we'll get rid of that. And we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. So block nine would be the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's the middle there. We'll do one at each end. And that should give us some adequate light there. And I'm going to go ahead. Man, we didn't even get a chance and opportunity to do our automated light system today, guys. I apologize. The top part took way longer than what I thought. But this is one of the main reasons why I want to do some live streaming with you guys. Is to be able to kind of do this stuff and spend a little bit more time in depth with these projects. Because whenever I'm simply just recording for the hardcore series you know i can fit as much as i need to into one episode but with this it's kind of just adapting as we go and learning and i hope that's something you guys are okay with uh, i'm enjoying it quite a bit i i'll be honest i uh, i'm having a really good time with all this stuff so let's see here we've got that We've got our smithing table. We've got a couple stoves we can throw up there real quick. No big deal. And I want to kind of bar that off as well if we can. Let's see. I might end up taking this out, actually, as a matter of fact. And then we'll kind of push back this entrance just a just a wee smidge there, just a wee bit of a smidge. That way, we can make a couple more iron bars. Where are they at? There, there. Up. And we'll make this one look like it's been sealed off for dangerous reasons as well. And eventually we might come back through there and make a cave spider spawner. But if I can get this multi-purpose spawner working, then this would be the best case scenario. So I want to keep this viewing window. I really like just having like one glass window in here that you can kind of get like right up into the zombie's face and kind of see what they're doing. I think that's kind of funny. So I'll leave that there. And let's see, I'm going to take, might as well take these half slabs and just throw them into the floor. We don't really need them for anything else. And I know we can just put them like on the top portion of the block and save some, but good grief does that bother me. Holy cow. My OCD is just screaming at me, don't do it! Don't you do it! We know that there's a half a block that's blank underneath there. We know! Okay, so don't you try and hide it from us. And I'm like, all right, yes, OCD, I understand. <laughs> uh, you guys the same way? Just, the OCD just talks to you, calls you out. You're like, no, OCD, don't do this to me. Oh, man. Now, let's see what else we can do here. I don't, I hate these. I hate these here. Let's find a better spot for these. I think they, you know what, let's put them, oh. Let's not put them in the wall. Oh my lord, I forgot about that one. Let's put up some more iron bars. Let's make that look a little bit uh, a little bit better then, huh? I totally forgot that one was even there. So I want to put... It's kind of cool we had covered that, actually. I'm going to do that, and I need all this diorite. Because we're running out of floor. And I might as well scoop this up while we're here, too. All right, awesome. Get this all done. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just gonna keep on grabbing it, man. Like, I know we have a ton of it upstairs, but I wanna have to keep running up and back and down, or back down and forth uh, over and over. It's annoying, so let me grab all this stuff real quick. Just so we have an adequate amount for us. Yeah, that's much better. Oop. All right, filling this stuff real quick, carefully. Hopefully nothing's gonna come creeping up on us here. 
There's a ton of activity. Y'all shut up. Shut it up. The viewers don't want to hear it. And I don't want to hear it neither. Y'all just shut it up. Oh, man. It's going to be nice. We can just uh, disenchant all of this uh, disenchanted gear in here. Because, I mean, I'm not going to wear a <laughs> fire protection one leather pants anytime soon. So, we, uh, we can just break all this stuff down now. And we've actually gotten a pretty good amount of rotten flesh. If we have a cleric, that'd be it. Oh, God, that'd be so nice. I am ready to start getting some stuff like that set up. Clerics and various villagers that will help us out. Cool. Awesome. I like it, guys. It kind of looks like we've just kind of like barred off the area to the outside world. So this is cool. It looks really secluded just by ourselves in here. I'm digging it. I'm, I'm definitely digging the vibes now. So hope you guys are on board. If you've got any ideas of what we should do in here, just holler at me, man. I'd like to hear you guys' ideas, please. Tell me what you want me to do. Tell me what you'd like to see. Tell me what I can do for you. Until then, we're just gonna be cracking on making these lanterns. Yeah, hey, smooth vibes with the lanterns. <laughs> with your host, Tragedy. All right. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of uh, diorite again. Let's go ahead, polish diorite, all that stuff. And oh, I'm not even gonna make any more of the half slabs just quite yet. Let's just go ahead and get over here. I'm gonna pop this one half slab up and swap that and then out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I dig, I definitely dig. This is awesome. Heck yeah. So I'm not gonna fill all this in quite yet, but I'm gonna get prepared. Like I said, next stream. Next stream, man. I think that we might end up just coming in here tomorrow. So if you guys want to see me come in here tomorrow and really wrap this thing up completely for the final time, let me know. Because I think it's a good idea if we come in here and we add one level to the top portion, we raise this up, and then we raise up the top part up there. I think if we do those three things, this thing is going to really crank out some pretty good numbers as far as not only experience, but drops. Because right now the experience is okay. It's a little mediocre, I'll be honest. But it's uh, it's definitely getting there. It's definitely getting there. Look, see? This is why, guys. This is why we have iron bars up, okay? It's protection. We need it. From hoodlums like this guy. <laughs> All right, so we've got that there. I'm going to put an armor stand right there, I think. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of furnaces just in the wall here. Why not? Let's go ahead and stack that up there. And I'm going to throw the crafting table on the floor. Let's see here. Put some of this junk back up in there. And what do we got here, guys? What do we got? I think we're looking pretty good good those chains and stuff well all right what else do we want to throw in here what else do we want to throw in here before we wrap up for the end of the night oh an armor stand yeah i think an armor stand or a couple or 15 because there's like 26 of those uh <laughs> sets of armor in this chest over here or down there now, an armor stand, does that take smooth? Oh, it does. It does take smooth. Let's, uh, let's just bake up some. Let's just bake it up real quick. Why not? We've got coal right here. So, let's plop down a line of that. Get us a little bit of coal going.
right, throw that in there. And we're gonna throw, let's just do a half stack. Half stack is plenty for right now. So we'll do that, and while that is cooking up, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and uh, try and get as much of this stuff mined up as I possibly can. And we'll fill up those furnaces there with some coal. Well, if you happen to be just re-watching this, uh, this uh, stream on the recap there on YouTube or Twitch or wherever, you know, that's just fine. Try to catch me live. Like I said, I'm thinking about maybe tomorrow, 1021. Um, it would have to be later in the evening. Um, Twitch and YouTube is my second passion. Uh, my first, uh, maybe not my passion, but my first uh, way of income, at least, I should say. So uh, we'll need to make sure that it's fitting around my work schedule, but... I think tomorrow evening we might just jump on for about like an hour and just do just about an hour's worth of work on this thing and try to raise up the bottom and uh, and get the top portion where the uh, the pads are and get those done. So if you guys want to catch me tomorrow, we'll try to get that done. And then aside from that, I really want to do some kind of fun project for Halloween coming up. And I've got something really cool in mind. So next week's stream is going to be something completely different. We're going to get out of the experience spawner. We're not going to stay stuck in the same place forever, I promise. But we're going to get out of here and we're going to try something a little fun. And I think uh, I think you guys will enjoy. It's going to be pretty cool. Pretty cool. We'll get back up to the, uh, the top side of the world. Get some daylight on our skin because we're starting to look like a vampire, I tell you what. So let me see here. We got sticks. I need the stone slabs. I need smooth stone slabs. And I want to get... Let's do... Let's do two for now. I'm going to do a corner one. And you know what? The light might not be the best thing right above that. We might need to do it like in the roof. Just so it doesn't interfere with it. Yeah, I think that'd be a little bit better. Perfect. So we'll do one there. Uh, we'll kill these guys because good grief, you're loud. Shut it up. Shut it on up. So we'll do one there and then uh, let's do one here. Why not? I think that's kind of cool too. We'll, uh, we'll put that light in the ceiling like we did the other one. I'm gonna shine a little bit of beacon of light on top of them there. I kind of like that look. It looks looks pretty cool. So we'll chuck that in there. What am I doing with this last one? Throw it in there. We don't need it. Throw it in there. And let's grab uh, some armor. I think we've got enough down here that'll that'll work. Let's see, we got a chest plate, the boots, the legs, and the helmet. Nice. And let's see if we've got a leather set. Do we have a full leather set too? Oh, bummer. We don't have the legs or the boots, for that matter. Really? Let's do chainmail boots. Oh, we have the leather pants right there. I'm blind. You don't have to scream. I hear you. I hear you. All right. So let's get everything kind of situated just so I can see actually what we got going here. This is just miscellaneous junk. It doesn't really matter. All right, guys. That's what we got working right now. That's what we got working right now. <laughs> Not too bad. You can see we've got a couple skellies in the mix. And for that matter, we actually got a creeper. So I'll, uh, I'll take it. Man, I'll take it. Any little trickle of gunpowder kind of add up. In the meantime, before we make like a big, uh, big farm out of it, no problem. I will gladly accept that. So, all right, let's go put our two suits of armor on here. I think I'm going to do the gold set on this guy here. Oh, what happened? Hello? Whoa. Okay. Well, I don't know what just happened there, but... <laughs> oh, I think I might have clicked. Okay, yeah, that's what happened. I actually double-clicked. Woof. 
The hordes of masses of zombies out there. Get out of here. We don't want your kind. We don't want your kind around here. All right. We got that, 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 and that. Cool. Awesome. Heck yeah, guys. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's not too fancy, but I want your ideas. I want your recommendations. So, before we stream tomorrow, I expect every single follower. Yeah, that's right. All six of you. <laughs> to get on here, and I want some recommendations. What do you think? What do you think we should add into here? I'm thinking a little bit of foliage, okay? To me, it kind of looks like a more modern, like, lobby somewhere. Well, besides the, you know, hordes of uh, zombies banging at the iron bar bars. But, besides that, <laughs> I think it's the white flooring. It looks very kind of modern-esque tile. Um, so, I'm thinking maybe let's add a little bit of greenery in here, guys. I'm thinking a little bit of greenery. So, what do you think? Tell me your ideas of on how you think we can add some uh, color or some variation inside of this room. Tell me what you want to see, and we'll try to integrate a little bit of that into uh, into the next episode tomorrow. So stay tuned. Um, off the top of my head, I'm thinking probably about 9.30 Central tomorrow. It's going to be a later evening stream tomorrow, and it won't be long. Uh, this is kind of an impromptu one that I just want to wrap up this project before we start on something fresh next week. I don't want to leave too many projects incomplete. So, jump on with me tomorrow, guys. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there, though. Uh, had a great time. Just chill. Very relaxing today, guys. Got to listen to some music. Hang out. Let me know what you think about the beats in the background, too. Is it too much? Is it uh, is it drowning out my noise or my voice or anything like that? So... Let me know, guys, but until tomorrow, I'll see you later. I love you all. Have a great evening. God bless, and peace out.